European debt crisis has many people asking whether really there is a future for the euro at all. Let's bring in our next guest who has a Bloomberg op-ed out today. His name is Paul de Graua and his uh, op-ed is entitled Euro has no future without a political union. He's an economics professor in Belgium and an advisor to the EC president. He's with us on the phone this morning. Paul, let's start with this. Let's forget what's possible practically is the euro doomed? Well, um, there is certainly a, a very big problem with the eurozone, and that has to do with the lack of uh, political union, right? Uh, we have created uh, the eurozone, which up to now has uh, worked relatively well, I mean, prior to the financial crisis. Uh, and this was based on the view that you could uh, centralize uh, monetary policy, and but keep all the rest in the hands of nation states, right? So. Countries uh, could do their own thing in terms of budgetary policy, fiscal policies, social policies, wages, what have you. And, uh, of course, this turns out to be impossible. Um, countries uh, um, that form a monetary union must go much further in centralizing other parts of their economic policies, but they are unwilling to do so today. Uh, Paul, you have been an advisor to the EC, so you really do understand what you mean when you say political union. Explain it to us. What constitutes a political union in the Eurozone by your definition? Well, um, one thing that we will have to do is to centralize parts of the budget, very much like you do in the United States, right? The United States is also a monetary union, that is, you have the dollar circulating everywhere, but also you have a federal government that has a federal budget. And, and that, that is very important, uh, because when you have a crisis in a particular region, the federal budget tends to smoothen that out. Um, and, and we have nothing of that kind in, in the Eurozone. Um, and as a result, when we are hit by a crisis, then we get conflicts between all these governments, and, and this can uh, lead to, to an implosion if, if we are not careful. But, Paul, how can we expect Germany to subvert its political independence on matters like the budget to voters in Spain or in Portugal or in Slovakia? That's indeed the big issue. The Germans are not willing to do so, and I understand them perfectly. But it's still true that if you want to keep the euro, then it will be necessary to do so. And that creates the big uh, problem and, and leads to my prediction that since the Germans or the French or what have you will not be willing to do that, then the future of uh, the eurozone is very much in doubt. Okay, but let's assume for a moment that the Germans are willing to undertake this, Paul. Even if the political union were possible, how should we expect any one country in a political union to continue or even begin to observe the monetary and budgetary constraints imposed by the euro? They weren't observed before. Why should they be now? Well, I mean, if you have a political union, you also take away some of the, the taxing and spending power from uh, these different governments, right? You, you, you put it together, um, and, and, and that is, of course, the key to, to resolving this issue. But as long as you keep sovereign nations that do their own thing, then it will be very difficult to control them. So uh, that, that's the, the dilemma we, we are facing today. But governments do not want to take that step because they distrust each other, never, and yet uh, it's necessary to do so. so um, and I, I don't see at this moment a way to get out of it.